Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cake inspired by the TV show Friends. So if you would like to know how to make this, then keep on watching. I started by rolling out some purple modelling paste, about half a centimetre thick, and then I trimmed it into a rectangle shape. Here you can see me popping an air bubble using a pin, and then I stuck in a toothpick as well. Then I cut out some yellowy browny rectangles of modelling paste as well. I pinched the edges and then I placed them on top of the purple rectangle and I scored lines. Then I created four swirls and I placed them in each of the corners. I used an icing tip to cut a circle and then a smaller icing tip to cut out another circle. I placed that in the center and then I used some gold luster dust to paint the whole thing gold. I used number cutters to cut out some numbers and I stick toothpicks in them as well. And then I also painted them gold. Then I rolled out purple fondant to about an eighth of an inch thick and then I covered my cake with that. I then rolled out some brown fondant to about an inch and a half thick and then I cut it into a rectangle about five inches long. Fondant in the same colour to about a centimetre thick and then I trimmed it to be the exact same size of the rectangle we made before and then I stuck it on top. Then I rolled out some fondant to create a thin strip and then I placed this at the front of my sofa. Then I poked three holes at the top of the sofa and used my tool to create some indentations to make it look more realistic. Then I rolled some fondant in a rectangle shape and used a diamond impression mat to create an effect. I went back in with my tool to create more definition. And then I poked holes at each one of the intersections. And then I went in at an angle with my knife into the sofa to create more shape. Then I created a tear drop shape and added it on each side of the back of the sofa. I created two rectangles and then I added them to either side of the sofa as well. And then I used my paintbrush just to create some shape. I then made little tiny balls out of fondant and added them at each one of the intersections on the sofa. I then created little beige snakes of fondant and added them to the bottom of the sofa. Out of modelling paste I created a cone and then flattened it slightly to create the shape of a lamp. Then I mixed red, yellow and blue food colouring with dipping solution and painted the lamp. Then I added these little edible balls and then painted them gold. I printed out templates online 
of the logos of the French show and then I cut out the writing and this will be used as a template for later. I used floral paste in the shades black, red and white, rolled them out extremely thin and then I put them aside to dry. Once they were dried I cut them out in cubes, placed the template over and used a toothpick to create little scratches and markings. And then I used an X-Acto knife to follow these markings and cut out each letter. The template to cut out these shapes in the shades bottle green and ivory and then I placed them on the side of the cake. teacups and then used black food colouring mixed with dipping solution to create the black effect of the teacup. I then rolled out three small white snakes of fondant and then added them on top of the teacups on either side of the cake. I used edible glue and stuck a gold painted barbecue stick into my lamp and then placed that into the cake. I hammered holes into my cake board and then added the decorations that we had made earlier. I used balls of fondant behind the decorations just for support. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll be back on Monday with a brand new video.